Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Backroads County. We are heading back to the farm. And uh, we have some decisions to make, but first, once we get back, uh, making sure that semi-truck back there is gonna make that turn just fine. Which looks like he is. So the decision we have to make is in regards to our equipment. This row of equipment that I'm currently running with, this uh, convoy of sorts, is all leased equipment. It's not all of it, but it's not bought outright. So that's one of a few decisions. Another one is I am wanting to kind of reduce our semis. Uh, I don't really mind too much if we have a lot of different trailers, as long as we have a use for them. Um, yeah, so there is that. But like I said, when we get back, I first have to uh, take a load of oats. I hope it's only going to be a load of oats. And get it sold, because it is not our crop. We uh, went ahead and have just finally finished up a ton of um, contracts as far as the actual harvesting part of it. I think all of our wheat, I believe we have actually delivered. I just needed to give, them, uh, give the owners a call and make sure that we get that cleared out. If it sounds like I'm talking a little funny, it's because I bit my tongue really bad yesterday and it still hurts like heck, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to avoid not really touching it on anything, but it's on the side of my tongue, so not really much avoiding that. All right, so they're all here. Let's make sure they're not concerned so much about the green auger wagon so much as I am that semi with my header. Thought so. The really difficult portion is going to be when turning into the farm. I don't know, there's just something about this map that I love. Um, not only that, but our farmyard itself. Even our little shed out here that we have a little store in, I think is working in our favor. So. Oop, autosave, please. Yeah, autosave. That's the only thing that really makes things skip like that. I still need to figure out what's causing... I think it's the house that might be causing a house and or a garage or something else. Something right around the house is causing the issue of lagging, so... No, I have not actually figured that out yet, so... Yeah. Ooh, that could be difficult. Maybe not for him. I'm thinking more so the semi truck. Oop. Yep, semi truck got stuck. Yep, I know. Workers blocked by object. So when I say that we need to figure out our equipment, I do like our American flag setup, but at the same time, I am kind of wanting to make a change. Um, another possible change Aside from him trying to take down my bee house, is possibly to do with the auger wagon. Because we do have that one back there in the hoop barn. But this one has a much bigger capacity, I think, surprisingly enough. 
And yes, it is unreal capacity, but you can also haul this with a tractor. So I guess it is bigger than that one. Hmm. All right, so let's first of all go get the semi truck that could not figure out how to pull in. Partially my fault because it is a follow me. Shut that down. Take a quick jog over. I always forget how loud this semi truck is. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. I'm trying to lift my tag axle. You know, to be honest, I would really like this semi-truck a lot more if it wasn't so bloody loud. Jeez. I am backed out as far away from it as I can. Oi! I love the Peterbilt 389s. So as you can see, that is actually what I found to be the biggest header in the game as far as um, grain header. And it fits this just fine. And this is even in the uh, full flex version or uh, configuration. So I didn't stiffen it up obviously, but as you can tell, it fits on there just fine. I'm sure if I had a pallet or something in here, it'd probably knock it off, but oh well. Anyway, let's uh, go take a look at our semis. I need to figure out which one I want to use. Well, I, trailer wise, I think I know. So these two setups are, I believe, my least ones. Are you? Nope, you're two. Two Ben. You're my single, that's right. I'm gonna use a single bin because it is my biggest capacity, largest capacity. And because I love the 389, we're gonna hop in this one. This one is so much quieter. I say that and the Jake Ray kicks in, so. There we go. Let's go get a load of oats and get it delivered. So like I said, it's not ours. I just had like four trucks full of grain and I just didn't want to bother as far as who wanted it. Well, one second. All right, so yeah, this truck is about the same, though this one's more of the full cab, the other one's more of the flat top. 
Um, I, I do like it. I just hate the fact that they're so loud. And I wish I could fix that. But I'm just not knowledgeable enough to do that. So let's see here. As far as our what we currently have, that's what we're looking like. And we're pulling oats out, so that's why I see that dropping, obviously. Still haven't figured out what how I can get rid of the stones. Alright, so we are full here. Let's um, head up north. To north, north part of the county and get this sold off. Or delivered, I guess, because we're not going to get any funds directly from it. Unless we happen to have more than what they are expecting to get from us. Oh, that's that. Yeah, that happened. See, I think the other one likes me better as far as being able to drive. Oof. Did not mean to get the uh, trailer into that ditch. I had a feeling it was coming, though. Let's get that uh, directly over the rear axles. Thankfully, going down here, we don't need to worry about going over any uh, way stations or passing any way stations. That would probably not be good. They'll weigh us, or should weigh us when we get there, but if they don't, they don't. That's right, this way station, or this uh, co op up here is a little different in how they do things. They don't actually weigh you, they don't pay you based on weight, apparently. Unless it's set up to where the way station part of it is when you pull in to unload. They made it convenient that way. And it's this spot up here. Of course there's a train. There's always a train. Outside that is, not in game. Oh, there's a stop sign there? My bad. Traffic's turning off right now anyway, so... Yeah! Just sitting here waiting to see how this works out for us. We got like three or four fields to uh, deliver for, so. Alright. I'll be right back with you. We're gonna go get another load.
All right, so it looks like about 75% of this truckload we're getting paid for. Grace to about 165,000, a little over 165, almost 165,500. Plus, well, it's at, over that with the environmental score of the 13,769. So, nice little payday there. That puts us at almost 500,000. We're at 494,905. Looking decent in terms of funds for now. Now let's get back to the farm and uh, start figuring out the decisions that we want to make. I have an idea of what I'm wanting to do. Some of you may like it, some of you may not. Part of it, as far as harvesters go, I have a feeling some of you may really not like it. Uh, because it involves actually going to two harvesters, but swapping the what I currently have out for bigger and better. I know bigger and better is not always actually better, but considering how long it took me last time to harvest uh, my cornfield, and I had, I believe I had two harvesters running in that at one point. Yeah, I'd rather go bigger and better. Simply because I have two massive fields and I'm thinking about buying another one. Not to mention all the other smaller fields that we have on the other side or in the middle of the map. Uh, I have an idea for that as well, and that just may involve getting smaller headers. Or possibly keeping the headers I have. I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out. If I want to go that route. And that's definitely a possibility that I'm thinking about and looking into myself. See our grass ditch over here on the left is growing in nicely. We may have to mow that and get some bales out of that. Speaking of which, I think I need to start uh, removing manure at some point and seeing about what we what we can do with that. If we if there's a place that we can sell it or what we can do, so should return here nice and neat like so. Actually, let's go this way. Not usually used to bringing the semi truck this way. Because I hate to bring the big trucks into our gravel lot up here for, that's for the smaller cars. <clears throat> so, clearly, for now, I think we're going to keep this current setup. I think I, part of me wants to keep the trailers. I just don't know if I want to keep the trucks attached to them. This guy, we're going to get rid of. Sell you. We just really didn't use it. So. Alright. Um, we're going to keep this. I'm going to keep the other one. If anything, more so to use it when I'm not recording, like what I was doing with this setup. So, let's see here. No, I don't want to return you. Let's go this, nope, not that route. This route. How much is it going to cost? 125, oh, that's easy. Uh, I think this one we're going to return. Uh, I like the Volvo, but this guy just doesn't seem to have the horsepower that I want or need. So let's return him. Alright. So that leaves us with four trailers. Oop. Okay, I had lights turned on for that. My bad. Alright, so. Sorry, I'm just kind of running around here real quick. Part of me has thought about that if 
Uh, let's. Well, first, before I say anything, I want to check on something. So the only one I'm seeing that does not have a hitch on the back is the Load King, which is fine. But I think what I'm going to do, actually, is have it set up to where I can have the two Wilsons uh, hooked to each other. So we have one semi pulling them. And then the Lizard and the Low King done the same way. And that might actually allow me to use my two Peterbilts just fine for that. Uh, unfortunately not you. I as nice as you look, we're going to have to get rid of you. So. Got my three older trucks here. Just kind of a case of eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Too far. All right, that'll work with that. The only thing I'm not a big fan of with this Dodge is the fact it drives so slow in reverse. See what I mean? It says it, it'll go to six miles an hour, but I can never seem to get it into reverse high, so. But it's a nice truck otherwise. I may have to give these guys a repaint, repaint here before too long. Now, this over here. We're gonna keep this header for one. So, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna keep this header. This is the big one. At 19 meters. So let's purchase that for 95000 Alright. This is the one that goes with the John Deere. Let's return that. I also want to purchase this header trailer. You know what? We're going to purchase the green otter. Hmm. We're going to return that. I have, an I have a lot of tractors already on the farm, but I have an idea for what I'm wanting to do if I need a bigger one. We're going to return that. You know what? We're going to run with three trailers. Screw it. Oh, and I forgot about the planter. We do not have enough money to purchase that. Okay, then. Um, all right. So, the next step that I'm wanting to do is we're gonna sell both of these harvesters. Um, and we're gonna sell that. Because we have that dual auger one, the big John Deere one, we're gonna get rid of this one. Why? Well, because I just wanted to. Um, all right, so where does that put us financially? 
1.2 million. Alrighty then. Um, so, as far as a harvester, let's me get. So, I, I, you guys are probably looking at this going, why is your stuff so out of order? Why do you have these, you know, like light car trailers, utility trailers, hooklift containers? Why do you have those available? It's one of the mods I have uh, that you can get in the in game mod hub that uh, kind of reorganizes things a little bit. So, just check out the mod hub and find it there. So I thought about going with the Agco Ideal because that thing is a beast. But I don't know if the auger pipe would be long enough to be honest to go with the header. And right now I'm going to focus on just getting one set up right now. We're going to set it up the way I want it to. So, yeah, 900 horse, that's fine. Wait, that's uh that's a configuration. There we go. We're going with large unrealistic 3 because well, why why, why the heck not? And we're going to stick with the 900 horse. You know, I'm not a big fan of the terror tracks. I don't know about the rest of you, but I think we may end up going with that triple setup. Yeah, we're gonna go with that triple. Yep, this one. I'm going to keep it with... Well, do we have any other options? Yeah, we can do the ideal. Yeah, that'll work. U.S. configuration. Auto save. Because I can, if I can find it. We're going to go with white. And yes, they're actually white beacons. Um, Alright, no options. Basically just brand or dbrand. No lubricating grease. We are going with the motor oil. And the fun job. Ooh, wait a minute. Can I... Yes, I can. Crap, that's a lot. <laughs> I like it. I like it more than I thought I would. Uh, let's uh, put blacked out. Chrome. Chrome? Chrome orange? Yeah, I'll just do regular chrome on the wheels because why not? All right, yeah, that helps reduce the <laughs> glaringness. Because why not? We have a spot for a license plate on the back, so might as well. I think up front it puts it like over here on the, on the sides or right here in front or something weird like that. Okay, so let's buy this. Crap, where do I have the shop set up? Uh oh. Uh, combinations. Eh. I have a green header. What I need is a corn header, and I think I have the right one for that. So we have a 19 meter corn head, so might as well get a 
18 meter auger or uh, corn head. Yeah, let's get the devastators put onto that. Turn off blue king grease. Um, yeah, because I'm afraid if I do that orange, it may not be the correct orange to match the rest of the combine. So we'll just do the green. That works for me. That leaves us with 707 thousand dollars. Sorry, brain fart. Um, as of right now, we don't need these, so let's get rid of these. So twenty thousand five for one, thirteen five for the other. That works for me. We have this header here. Let's uh Ah, it's over here. So when I said white, I mean white. <laughs> Just something different. And this does have a nice big uh auger on it. So let's get hooked up to this corn header real quick. And make sure that we have plenty of room. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. We got plenty of room on that. Look at the height of that too. Wow. All right, let's get this back to the farm. So before we do that, let me let's take a quick look here. Because with taking care of all these other um, farms, oh, yeah, nothing's quite ready to harvest. We got 23, 30, and then our two big ones back home. Which, where are they? So, soybeans, corn. Okay, so 23 and 30 are what? No, it can't be there. Sorghum! And 23 and sunflowers and 30. So, yeah, this will be able to be put to use quite quickly whenever everything is ready to sell or uh, harvest and thus sell. And, uh, yeah. So guys, as always, if you happen to like what you see, get yourself watching more than one of my videos, please do us both a favor and hit that subscribe button and then ring that bell. That bell will let you be notified of every single video I post and not just select you here and there. Of course, if you made it this far in my video, guys, I want to say thank you and I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you for coming along for the ride. And I hope you all have a very fantastic rest of your week and we will catch you in the next episode. So as always, take care. Peace.